Welcome to GBIRL, the podcast looking at the real business world of esports, gaming, and streaming with the people and personalities behind it all. Here is your host, Bill the Conqueror. Okay, everybody, welcome back to the GBIRL GBIRL podcast. It is it is an it is an interesting day when I can sit in a room with with three doctors. Three three. I have three doctors here with me today. You already know one of them. I've I've I have inter- interviewed Dr. Goku multiple times from Guardians mm-hmm. Mental Health. He and Joe do a fantastic job of 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 being available, providing resources for 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 gamers. But today, um, really interesting program that I was I was I was made aware of today. I have with me Dr. Anthony Bean, and then I also have Dr. Ryan Kelly. Yeah, I got the yes. Hello, hello, hello. hello. So, doc, I, 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 gentlemen, it is a rare day when I am the least, least um, educated person in the room. <laughs> I'm with three doctors. I have an MBA, and I'm like, wow. I'm usually like people are impressed with MBAs, but you guys are like, no, we're we're doctors. We got we got like, still impressed. Well, still okay. impressed. <laughs> but anyway, what were you, so the so the program that I was introduced to? You can find this find this online it's a it's a it's a streamer mental health kit and it was brought to my attention by brought brought to my attention by dr goku and it is it is not just something that you do sort of off stream or only on stream it's more of a 360 degree offering that puts streamers in a good place to help their communities it puts mods in a good place to help the streamers and the community, and it gives everybody resources by which they can address the 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 ongoing issues that we have with mental health. There is no denying that the last eight months of this freaking year have been brutally <laughs> horrible. I mean, I, I, I have, I am, I, I. So, so we're sitting here recording this. I'm just now going back to work tomorrow to, after eight oh, months wow. of being off. So. Mental health is a thing. So, gentlemen, just quick intros. Thanks for joining me, Doctor Goku, Doctor Bean, and Doctor Kelly. Thank you very much for making time for me. I appreciate the time. Of course. Yeah. Thanks for having us. No problem. Anytime. Okay. So, without going into too much of your own personal backgrounds, because we could probably get in the weeds about how we love gaming. Sort of. So, sort of give. I mean, a little bit about yourself, why you did this program, how it came about, where and where you see it, see it, see it going. I I honestly think that it's it's really good for for Ryan to kind of start this off because I I really feel like he, this wouldn't have been possible without him and geeks like us. Okay, Tony. I know and it's it's true I mean come on yeah, I, you know so um yeah so I'm, I'm Dr. Ryan Kelly I'm a psychologist uh, I use game science and technology to help people and um, I'm also co-founder of Geeks Like Us which is a community-based media company uh, that basically you can imagine it's like if, uh, if if geek culture and psychology had a baby that 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 would be us and so we sort of co- you know combine those things to largely to encourage unapologetic enthusiasm and improve the well-being, confidence, and pride of, of uh, geeks and gamers uh, around the world. Now, uh, a part of that, a large part of our initiative is doing panels at comic and gaming conventions. Mm-hmm. And, you know, a lot of those panels uh, started to go into the realm of, of streamers. We have some, uh, our marketing director is a communications professor, Dr. Uh, Emery Daniels. He's a Twitch researcher. And as he was doing his research, and as we got more into st- uh, streaming, you know, we saw this necessity to help, uh, you know, streamers with their mental health, uh, high burnout rates, uh, difficulty setting boundaries, struggling to to have, you know, community engagement in a way that is healthy, inclusive. Um, you know, I, I think just knowing those boundaries was incredibly difficult. There was a lot of psychology to it, how to moderate. And so, you know, as we did this, we kind of come up with this idea of creating this um you know, streamer roundtable where we're like, how do we create processing groups for streamers to help them with their own well-being and also help how to manage, uh, especially those with with some mental health issues, but just in general, how to manage their their community and their streams so it can be this very pro-social 
uh, healthy environment where, where everyone has this good well-being and, and, and optimizing what it could be. Uh, we had talked to uh, Marie of Anxiety. She's amazing. She's huge into self-care. Uh, she, she's a mental health advocate. She calls herself a, a mental health cheerleader, which I love. And she has a really just, good book. <laughs> she, she's mm-hmm. a really good, and she's just an, an incredible human. And so we had reached out to her as well. Um, and you know, that kind of, we did some PAX panels on how to moderate, you know, we're, we're not your therapist panels, you know, like, is that, it's kind of the term, like we're not your mm-hmm. therapist and cause streamers, as Dr. Goku was saying, sometimes tend to be the wall for, mm-hmm. for, you know, viewers uh, or Bill yeah. might've been you. And, yeah. and, uh, so yeah, that kind of started it. And then I think that that was a seed a bit. And then of course we have the amazing, you know, Dr. Koku and Dr. Bean who have their endeavors and I think maybe I'm going to, I'm going to throw the ball to Dr. Bean because I think he was a big kind of guy to sort of lead the collaboration of some amazing groups. Dr. Okay. Bean. Yeah. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm Dr. Bean. I, gosh, I, I run geek therapeutics, which is where this kind of goes through. I also run a nonprofit here in Texas called the, the Tilos project where we serve, uh, underserved individuals. We serve anyone regardless of socioeconomic status. And if you can't pay for therapy or testing, we find resources to make sure that you get the services you need. We scour the area and have, have identified quite a lot of people um, that are willing to help out, whether it's uh, churches, other nonprofits and other stuff like that. So that's, that's kind of like, that's the day job, the, the night job and the fun stuff is really kind of the geek therapeutics where we, we pretty much teach clinicians and professionals, mental health professionals, anyone. We have people across the entire spectrum. We have a massage therapist um, that's going through the, the, the program <laughs> stuff that we're doing right now to, to utilize geek culture within their, their own worlds and, and to really just kind of better themselves and their clients that they, they serve as well. And we're, we're APA accredited, NBCC accredited, so they have to pay attention to us now, <laughs> which is a great thing. <laughs> nice. Because uh, nice. if, if you know anything about our, our field, they tend not to not to like to pay attention to, to us using, let's say, Dungeons, Dragons, anime, right. video games, right. Right. all that good stuff. And whatever's outside and, the box. Yeah, yeah. Right. whatever's outside yeah. the box. That's yeah. not necessarily like... Mm. Um, what's evidence-based, heavily evidence-based uh, and, you know, like CBT, that type of stuff. But it, but anyway, so yeah, the, the biggest thing that kind of uh, Marie likes to, I, I feel like we're Pokemon for Marie. Like she just has a Pokemon Pokedex of, <laughs> of doctors okay. that she like yeah, uses. And I like, I really feel like my, my Pokey, my Pokeball is just this illusionary uh, place I live in some days. Um, and she, she reached out to, <laughs> she reached out to, to me because she wanted to do this. And I was like, wait a second, Ryan, Ryan's doing something with this already. Uh, I let's, let's figure out what we can do. And so we, we just kind of started wrapping our heads around it and identifying what are the needs? What are the the stuff that needs to be done? What's out there? What's not out there? Mm-hmm. And we we kind of identified a lot of stuff that there just wasn't really anything out there for for streamers. There's just not like mm-hmm. it's almost like they're left behind. And so we kind of created a curriculum. A, what do you call it? a best case scenario of like, let's go over the research. Let's make sure we give out resources. Let's make sure we give out the handouts. And Marie then actually sent me over to Dr. Goku over here, Jean-Luc, um, because she was like, Hey, they have this bot. You want to check this out? Like I said, she's just like a Pokemon master. We're just, right. we're just living in her world. I feel some days. Um, and, and it's a good analogy. I mean, I, I, if I you know, you, your, your Charizard, this is like a beaten, like, <laughs> like sort of paralyzed and I'm, like no <laughs> I'm like subdued i'm like dragging my uh, dragging like a, a well, leg and a tail being like <laughs> just just heal me please well, who are you dr goku who would you be well i'm not, not sure i put you on the spot we'll get back to uh, that yeah we'll back to you well, my starter's always been charmander so oh <laughs> we'll get two charmanders there you go yeah. i mean we, we there's, there's there's two we can do that uh so he that I mean, that's this. This is this is how the world works now. We're just part of Marie's <laughs> starter six. Um, that's that's how it is now, and uh, so we we just kind of developed this this pro- entire program over a a couple months, and then just got together and identified what the needs are, what we were doing, what we had to do, and all of a sudden everyone's videos came in all in one week and I spent literally like 30, 40 hours just editing and, <laughs> and, and getting everything. Right. Um, uh, what, what is everything like subtitled, um, and just 
creating all of these other documents through everyone's just like throwing resources uh, left and right. And I'm like, oh God, am I going to get to it? Am I going to get to it? And then Ryan's over here like, hey man, I'm going to make this happen and do this thing. And he's like, just sends this perfect video. And I was like, I don't have to do anything. This is amazing. <laughs> and I'm like, you have no idea how much of a savior this is right now. <laughs> um, okay. and, and so, yeah, we ended up talking to uh, Guardians Mental Health about their their bot, which is really, really awesome. Mm -hmm. And how the, it are, was already set up for so many, helping so many other people and mm -hmm. being able to integrate with Discord and yeah. Twitch and, mm -hmm. and just a massive boon to... Uh, to streamers and so to to us it just really felt like this was just like all the pieces just coalesced so so well for this and there's already plans to to add more to it um what's already there there's already four hours worth of content in there but there's already wow. talk about uh, adding one um specific for for mods and uh dr emery daniel is going to be uh, heading that that endeavor out with with uh Dr. Ryan Kelly as well, but wow. I, I do think that none of this stuff would have been would have been possible without this three prong approach that we all mm -hmm. kind of took. Well, it's, it's funny, Dr. Bean and I were talking, you know, regarding Dr. Goku's bot. You know, once once we knew about it, we were like, well, we didn't know we needed this, and now that we've seen it, we this is we have to have this. Like this is essential. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, this, yep. This can't be what we wanted to be without this thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, so you know. it, it so it's I, I just want to say it's really fascinating to me because. People have the perception that that uh, those with PhDs are very, very, um, very, um, very, very um, academic and snooty, and y'all wear ties all day, and and you, 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 you you're very, very uh, detached from everything. And I, I can just say in the in the in the and the 10 minutes that we're recording and the 45 minutes of the uh, of just talking pre-show, you guys are like the exact opposite of that. And the fact that the fact that you have a program, Dr. Bean, where you're teaching clinicians uh, the lexicon and the cultural norms of gamers is really fascinating to me because gamers need everything that non-gamers don't. They need just as much, much, much support. They need a massage therapist. They need to shower. They need to do all the things that non-gamers do, but they filter it through their favorite game. So they're always right. thinking in the terms of the game and being able to teach a clinician. Okay. Well, when they're talking about, so, so when a, when a gamer talks about an RPG, what is an RPG? What defines an RPG? How, how does, how does someone play an RPG? And so being able to teach a clinician how to relate to that person. And in reality, in my experience, therapy is just trying to relate to that person enough to tell, tell them and convince them, Look, you're, you're not alone. We're we're gonna be okay. Work with me here. Work with me here. I understand what you're saying to me, and and trying to take that journey, journey together. And so I I, I just I, I I would love to get into that at some point. But I know we have to get into this awesome <laughs> awesome coursework here. So. But I, what you mentioned, Bill, is so true. It takes me back to grad school that one of my professors had mentioned that the therapeutic relationship is worth about 80% mm -hmm. of the success rate in therapy. Oh yeah. Yeah. If you oh, can't yeah. build that I with a therapist, with it's right. Oh, it's oh, 100%. <laughs> we, you know, I'm you guys are probably similar. We want we run 15 minute free meet and greets. Mm -hmm. Uh mm -hmm. because it's like look, you could be the best psychologist in the world if you can't relate to your your client, you're going nowhere. Exactly. Uh, you know, <laughs> and, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And the, w w what's interesting is with with geek culture, you know, it, it is a culture, you know, let's not yes. be fooled. It is a culture. It's, it's, a, it's a set of th uh, beliefs and thoughts and mm -hmm. uh, things you adopt. And, you know, we have this massive amount of research on, uh, you know, uh, diversity and, and so on of, you know, how to connect to clients. If you, if you can't, if you're a, you know, white therapist who, who is trying to give services to a, you know, a low income uh, African-American, you're not going to be as effective according to research, right? Because right. It's, it's harder to relate. And so we have this big push of like, you have to find a way right. um, to have, you know, diversity, you know, and sort of this, uh, uh, you know, knowledge of ethics and culture and so mm -hmm. on. And, and know sometimes when to say, I can't take this one on. The okay. interesting thing about geek culture, which is another, um, nowhere near the same, but similar premise of a marginalized group of people who, right tend to be outcast or not mm -hmm. mainstream or not understood. Uh, you know, we have the option of, you can literally choose 
to to know mm-hmm. geek culture. You can't choose obviously to be Hispanic or right. you know, black or, mm-hmm. but you can choose right. to know how to relate to a geek. You know, so to standardize mm-hmm. a, an approach like to, like Dr. Bean has done mm-hmm. to standardize that to standardize geek culture and provide a an efficient you know way to teach people to help these uh, th- these these amazing uh, yeah. geeks and gamers. It's fantastic. Yeah, and and I, I, I for, for for me, like I, I I spent I spent twenty years as a a, a sports official in three sports, and and I cool. found that m- my success was based upon translating words that I use as an official. Like for you know, mm-hmm. trying, uh, I spent twenty years as an umpire too. And and mm-hmm. trying to trying to explain the various terms in the rule book in real world terms that a that a coach fan mom dad player can understand that when I make this call with this rule this is why I'm doing it and without me using mm-hmm. words that have have twelve uh, syllables in them just making them simple enough that when you do X this will happen it's it's the exact same concept with gamers mm-hmm. their their mm-hmm. thought process is. Yeah, well, their entire uh, 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 a lexicon is based upon a genre of games. It's a culture, and mm-hmm. and having a therapist that can go, oh, okay. So when he uses the word weeb, what, 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 what the hell is a weeb? I don't even. But being able to explain, okay, well, that's this is what they're referring to. This is what this means. Oh, now I get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For sure. And certainly with the amount of time that. Uh, gamers and geekdom has been around it's mm-hmm. been growing for 40 some odd even longer than that years right so the people that started with him when they were kids are now adults mm-hmm. parents have families some of them are grandparents mm-hmm. it's important to have these therapists that are able to relate with this entire generation exactly exactly mm-hmm. so that's a that's and it's it's also well it's also what well, I'm sorry for interrupting no, you, Bill. Ahead. I think it's go also ahead. important for 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 us to recognize that like the the trainers that are in here aren't just isn't just uh, myself. It's it's a whole bunch of people who are experts in their areas, such right. as right. Dr. Ryan Kelly's v, VR and anime, hands down. Besides video games, obviously, right. but VR and anime, <laughs> my gosh, this guy is like. <laughs> <laughs> and the know-how and the people the people that know that he knows and he's like yeah i'm just gonna go and do this in here and you're like watch him do this stuff you're like what is this magic you are like this wizard that's going on here um uh, base and, and, magic and, and, intensifies you know. yeah it, I mean, it just wouldn't be possible without without everybody else and i think that's really what we're what we're all trying to do is just build that that platform so we can showcase the experts in the area that we we have to recognize, and I think as a psychologist and as us other people, that we're not the experts in everything. Right. Like that, if we think that we are, that's that's our ego talking, and that's that's not helpful to anybody. Yeah. And once we can recognize that, then we can move on, and we can be like, hey, you know what? We really kind of need some some help in this. We need to do some some stuff in here. And like you've seen, like you really know this this topic really well. Like we we just had a training on Star Trek, and do you know how deep she went? <laughs> I, I I like I was yeah. listening to him being like yeah. I thought I knew Star Trek. No, no, nope. there's a lot nope. to that. Nope. There's a lot. To nope, that. not and, at all. Yeah. Not not to the degree that this person who's younger than me, right? No, who's who's <laughs> read every book, every comic book, watched right. every series ninety times, and could quote you from memory, right. like show full shows, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Wow, you know it. This this first little bit just reinforces to me the belief that I have held for many years that gaming brings us together. That, oh, that, sure. the, that the 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 undercurrent of being a gamer is a is a point at which we can all grab on to and kind of find a common goal and just kind of move from there. And you know, it, uh, 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 you know, I'm not the greatest at 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 certain genres but i know somebody who is and it's wonderful to say you want to know more about this game you you go talk to that person over there and that just that 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 fosters a great community gaming Mm -hmm. gives people hope gaming builds people up it saves lives i know people personally who said if 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 i didn't have an xbox when i was a kid i'd have been dead this is all there is to it and so I I, 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 I know people will say that to me. I'm like, you know what? That's why gaming. That's why gaming is important to me. And so I wanted to get into this, into this, in this coursework 
because there there are there are six pieces to it, and the, as I'm sitting here looking at it, the, it it's actually focused mostly on streamers, which makes the most sense to me because this the streamer is sort of the sort of the pillar, the foundation of the community. People show up for that reason, and then they kind of build from there. So if so, if one of you just wants to kind of walk through each one of these pieces a little bit for me. Yeah, who wants to start? I mean, I, I think the thing that we should definitely showcase is the the MH bot. So okay. to me, that's that's a hands down that. thing. Let's start there. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can go over the the bot. So for everyone wondering, I'm Dr. Jean Luc Williams. I'm better known as Dr. <laughs> Goku Online. So I'm a resident in psychology and the clinical director for Guardians MH. And the bot started off as an idea that our founder Joe had. So Joe taught himself how to code and write Java. Wow. And built a framework <laughs> for the bot. Wow. Because we, of me and him talking, found that there was kind of some variations of a mental health bot available where you would DM it and it would DM you back 48 hours later with <laughs> a resource. Well, it's, I need that right now right. rather than in 48 hours from now. Sure. So Joe taught himself to code and um, someone uh, from the Red Jacks network, mm -hmm. uh, a programmer, yep. hopped on board with us and he just took it and ran with it. <laughs> so we built it to start off as a Discord bot, mainly for our server. Mm -hmm. And it's just ballooned into a Discord bot that's in over 400 servers. Yep. We recoded it to fit on Twitch. And we just launched this weekend a web app that people can just go to rts.guardiansmh.com okay. and have full access to the bot anywhere they go. Wow. Now, is that going to be available and like all... on their phones? Are you guys able to like yep. uh, put it's that into like a, like a link tree type stuff? Any any browser that has access to internet, can go to rds.guardiansmh.org and has full access to the bot. Wow, that's awesome! That is freaking awesome. Okay, so 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 so, so for somebody who accesses accesses the bot. Whoa, 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 what happens? I mean, I go on to, I go to the site rts.gmh.org and I type in a question like, hey, right now I'm feeling really down because my, my, uh, I'm having issues with my wife and my kids just really aren't paying attention to me. So, uh, uh, what happens next? So, the way we've had, we've kind of built it is you can search for certain key phrases or okay. certain places. Uh, or conditions, so I'm kind of okay. haven't pulled up here. Uh, and mainly we use the keyword search. So if okay. we do just anxiety, okay, you keyword search anxiety, okay, and it pulls up a card, and I'm like pulls up two cards. Uh, on Twitch and on Discord, you just do exclamation point anxiety, okay, and it pulls up kind of a general um, uh, description of what anxiety is. Okay. It gives you a link to like a crisis hotline. So the 741-741. And then it goes down and links you to a couple of resources. Um, one of them has been uh, built in house. So it's one that I wrote in terms of explaining anxiety, which okay. is pretty much the spiel that I give to my clients. And a couple more resources uh, like the NIMH and the Crisis Helpline. Okay. All of the resources here have been looked over, have been vetted by our team of uh, the staff and mental health professionals to make sure that they're beneficial, they're helpful, and they're not just a Google search. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so it, uh, I, I, I think that point right there is it, we got to stop and we got to really – Really make sure people see that is it, this is isn't going on a search engine and type in anxiety and getting four hundred results. You're getting you're getting specific information that mm -hmm. it, that that not just one person has looked at, but several 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 therapists, several clinicians have looked at. Mm -hmm. Have it, all of you have your certifications? All of you, all mm -hmm. of you have those. 
have those 400 letters after your name that you know, to, 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 to make sense to, to, to you guys and and so it's 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 the real deal it's not just some bot that somebody made that somebody's trying to sell you it's the real thing right and we've built the bot and we say this in our show in our discord it's not made to be a substitution right. for proper mental health care or a pr right. proper mental health professional okay. it's <clears throat> curated 24 7 on demand resources wherever and whenever you need it okay that then we also link to how to find your own mental health professional okay so so basically basically your bot is a a a, a starting point exactly mm -hmm. okay okay it's kind of better help you understand what's going on and we also link out to a variety of other organizations okay. that will help you find a clinician to find groups like uh, through um, just pulling up like therapy here as a keyword search crisis and outreach educational uh, we have support organizations lgbtq uh, and some good uh, therapy and self-help websites like good therapy um, parenting resources uh, we even have some links to certain games like uh, amaru from six wing studios which is a, a self-care pet mm -hmm. okay yeah i mean i would say like a, a general theme you're going to see for all all three of the things that we we deliver mm -hmm. is that you i mean you could spend hours trying to find the resources that we might provide the, the difference right. is you know, with whether it be the bot or the processing group or the geek therapeutics, you know, and the programming mm -hmm. is you are getting something that is very, very, very precise okay. and very, very, very credible. Right. Okay. So <laughs> you can trust it. It's it's all moderated by mental health professionals, practicing and academic okay. mental health professionals. So that's the main that's the main, I guess, drive behind it. Got it. OK, so we so, so we have the bot. The bot is your good starting point. Keyword search links you to further resources that you can help find your own there. Find your own therapist, your own counselor if you need it, mm -hmm. whether it's in the direct moment. You got to talk to somebody right now or you're like, hey, I want to deal with this issue. Who are some people in my area that I can talk to? So we have that. So, so the next step is. Next, I would be kind of learn a little bit more about the research, which I think Ryan is is kind of in in your guys' wheelhouse a little bit more than than mine, because Dr. Daniel's part of part of your your stuff. Uh, he floats between all of us, but he's, yeah. he's primarily yours. You you lend him out. He's he's like a Pokemon. You know, yeah, that's true. We're we're, we're, we're trading Pokemon. between characters. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Oh, he's an item. He's an item. He's That's what he is. He's, yeah, he's just an he's item. A stadium. He's a stadium. He's an item. Or, 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 yeah. <laughs> right, right. Let's, let's hope he never hears this because we're never. Or... <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, we'll move on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we stuck here forever if someone doesn't say it. Uh, someone, yeah, exactly. We will. Yeah. Okay. So, 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 okay. So, 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 so the thought process processes uh, behind the research is it is it your area, uh, 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 Dr. Kelly? Uh, say that one more time. So, so we, so, so we have the bot. We start there. We, so the next step from the bot for whether it's gamers as uh, 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 gamers in the community or, 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 or we're talking about the streamers next. So, uh, so okay, yeah, I guess now for for our side is largely focused on the streamers. So okay. of course we community where we do use resources from uh, uh, from Dr. Goku, you know, and so on. And we do have that well being component. Okay. Um, Thing that's a part of this package is we're kind of taking on the the, the well-being of the streamers themselves and right. and and the mods therein so um this is you know kind of the difference between like a therapy group and a processing group is you know processing group uh groups you know streamers can come together at their probably at their status whether it be non-affiliate affiliate or partner right and they can pair up in private groups and it would be voice channels and discord okay. and it would be moderated by a mental health professional um they wouldn't be providing direct therapy. We're not using, you know, confidential information. We're not taking files. Okay. But it would be discussing common trends, issues that have arisen, um, being able to, you know, kind of have a semi-structured approach to each session of, you know, what are you doing for self-care? How do you manage your hours? 
Um, okay. You know, you know how do you assess your domains of life to see if you're, each of them is getting checked? Um, how do you know, you know, our, how do we increase self-awareness of how our streaming or our viewers or interactions therein are mm -hmm. affecting our mental health? How to identify burnout? And so we, we have this area where people, where streamers can just process. They can get some okay. information, they can get some education, but it's a, it's like a, a guided venting session. Okay. Where they, we, again, it's sort of like giving bounds. I mean, an example I would say, I think it's very hard to know when to when to keep pushing mm -hmm. and when to take a day. It's very hard to know that. Some people will take a mental health day too fast. They could have kept going. A lot of people will just keep keep pu pushing. Uh oh. Uh oh, where'd he go? Can, can you hear? Oh, he didn't have, he's oh, back. No, he's back. back. Oh, oh man. Okay. I have no idea. All right. I think it was maybe the G-Force thing I had done. Um, <laughs> they finally did. Uh, I'll mess with that later. Um, but it, what, what I was mentioning was the idea of, um, you know, some people know when to take a mental health day. Some people don't. They'll keep pushing when right. they shouldn't, and then they're right. going to burn out. Or some who never really reach their potential because they get worried about the burnout, right? Okay. So an example of a processing group is like how do we identify that line if we were to equate it to physical health okay. where you know I, so i played soccer if you got a soccer player who's running is ah, coach i can't do it anymore well i can check your heart rate okay you're 160 you can go more than that you're not having any twitching in your muscles we're not near depleting mm -hmm. our acetic choline or muscle failure uh you know you don't have any underlying condition like we can you're hydrated capillary response we can say no dude you got to keep running right, right? or we can be like, dude, you have to stop because if you keep going, you're going to get injured. Okay. That's a lot more difficult with invisible conditions, right? right. And with yes. mental. So, you know, as an example of a session group is talking about, so how do we, how do we identify those markers? How do you, how do you find your markers and find your limits? Got it. So that you can, you can optimize who you are, um, but, but not burn out. So, th so that's kind of uh, the processing group that we're, we're providing at GLU. Okay, so that piece right there, we're talking about burnout. There's the it's it's a, it's a, it's a very pervasive belief that you have to grind, 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 grind. You know, always on the grind, always, always, uh, always hustling. It's 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 a it's a it's a, it's, a, it's a, it can be a very toxic thought process. Mm -hmm. And so I and so I think people see the grind quote unquote and they 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 always define that through other people and the and and where i think streamers find success is when they define that for themselves what is my grind look like you know what is right. my time frame here's my life in general right now i want to fit streaming in i want to hit this goal in a specific period of time, perhaps. So, 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 when you're in these processing groups, and it's, and I have to say, these processing groups sound a lot like to me about about uh, about uh, 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 sound a lot lot to me like a uh, a uh, 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 mastermind groups. I have a a a, a friend who's a. A, uh, a professional development coach, and he holds mastermind groups where where business owners of of the same basic size all get together and, and they talk about okay I, I'm having this issue right now is there something I can do and there's some place I can talk to. What this sounds like is the same basic concept where you get streamers of the general same size together and they and they just talk about their their issues like hey I'm you know I don't understand why this keeps happening in, in my chat and so someone else could say well right. that for me was this and that for me was this so you're basically basically uh, basically uh, uh, basically crowdsourcing uh, 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 solutions among your peers right that, that is a big part of it with the addition of there's always a mental health moderator right yes. so it's sort of like we, we would like to let it roll but if we're seeing it go in a direction where it's like well so i can understand that frustration but actually so that solution, here's why that might cause more problems, right? right? If you, you know, or, you know, the idea of we could occasionally throw out research where it's like, you know, so, you know, you guys have all talked about that, you know, this issue here. Mm -hmm. I wonder what you guys think about a few things we tend to do in, in psychology, a few ways that humans can effectively set boundaries, right? And blah, 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 blah. Talk about parasocial relationships, you know, so mm -hmm. how do you guys, you know, we sort of try to guide yes. the discussion mm -hmm. versus providing very direct, like, you know, 
uh, you know, John, tell me about your mother. Like, like, you know, <laughs> right, right, right. 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 That, we keep really that doing. stuff for our office hours. That's office hours. I keep right? it for so, Ryan. It's, that's right. Yeah, it's <laughs> our late night phone calls. Um, so they go for uh, far too long, um, and I love it. So, but yeah, I mean, so that's part of it, and we also kind of act as a more direct um, um, mediary for, mm. I think, all of what we're doing, right? So, like, so for instance, if we're doing it. I, of course, know that I can direct uh, certain things to Dr. Goku or if it's right. like, you know, you know, so you, br you brought this up. If, you know, actually there is going to be a training coming up in a month, uh, you know, okay. that, that is going to hit this. And I really want you to be there. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we are still going to always meet, you know, right. uh, us three here are always going to meet all our groups. And we'll be kind of talking about, like, what are you getting on your end? What can we do to continue to make right. this program grow so that it continue to provide the, the you know, in the most optimal way, what streamers need to improve their well-being. Because to the streamers that I've spoken to, and we've had a few bigger streamers and content creators on our show, mm -hmm. that burnout is a, something that's very re relevant and very severe in the industry because they're chasing those numbers. Mm -hmm. They're, they're mm -hmm. chasing the algorithm where yep, if right. you drop, drop off the map for a week or two, you're playing around with your career. Yep. Right. And it's this push and pull of, I want to push myself to do more, mm -hmm. but I'm not taking care of myself. Right. So they're burning out rather than recognizing that streaming or content creation is something that should be a long term journey rather than a short sprint. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's about recognizing those those types of principles, which is why, like in in that tr this training, we we actually go over what is burnout, what is stress, what is fatigue, mm -hmm. what's that what we call optimal uh, moment of arousal for us to hit just that sweet spot, you know, mm -hmm. of of not going too much, right. not too little, and just keeping everything nice and steady. Because when you have that sweet spot, man, you progress so so fast mm -hmm. and so much. And uh, mm -hmm. if you go too far, you hit burnout, you hit that fatigue. Right. If you go too little, you don't accomplish very much. And so it's really about understanding where where that sweet line is for yourself without going overboard and killing yourself on, on a lot of levels of like fatigue, mm -hmm. making sure that you're taking care of yourself, mental health days. It's okay to, to be like, you know what, I can't do this or over, over encumbering schedules that we've been seeing too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there's, and I know these, I know these two know about it. There's a great assessment tactic called the York's Dodson curve, where basically on the Y axis you have, uh, you know, um, productivity. X axis you have anxiety or stress. Okay. And anxiety can be very helpful. Stress can be very helpful, uh, but eventually it gets to the point where it'll actually decrease productivity. And mm -hmm. so you imagine this big hill, basically, right? That's how this okay. that curvy linear hill that the slope creates. And it's funny because some people think, well, I should be at the top of that hill. That's the sweet spot. No, it's not. That's like driving 100, you know, 140 on the highway. You're technically able to do it, but you're overheating your engine eventually. Yeah. So actually the sweet spot is about 20 to 30% down that hill, you know, and staying there because okay. it's, it's a nice stable spot. So like Dr. Goku was saying, it's like, yeah, technically, you know, you could be crushing it on top of that hill, max productivity right. by having more anxiety and stress. You're going to fall. You're going to mm -hmm. crash, you're gonna burn out. <laughs> It's not possible to stay there. So, well, maybe Tony. I don't know. Tony sometimes stays there for a extended period of time. <laughs> well, so I don't know I, how he does it. So, uh, 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 I think it's important to note when you talk about the curve. A lot curve, of coffee. Right. Uh, I think it's important to note, though, when you talk about the curve, is that is that while while humans strive for this strive for this illusionary state of of consistency, is that it doesn't exist because because we're we're. Our our bodies are are constantly um, in in states of flux from one end of the continuum to the other. I, and 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 being able to recognize, you know, I've been awake and working on this video now for about eight hours, and I haven't eaten in, in four. And I, I and Basic I just need function. to stop. I just <laughs> I just need to freaking stop right now, right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, all of a sudden, I heard. Of... I just saw South Park. It's ah, more <laughs> hair pockets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my sweet boy is so big, growing since it's growing boy. Yeah, it makes me think. One of my colleagues uh, that um, I was a while ago doing a um, bo um, BPD training, so borderline personality disorder training, and she was talking about the fundamental pillars to your own well-being. So, to emotional regulation, which is making sure that you're hydrated 
that you have good nutrition, mm -hmm. that you're sleeping, and you have good social interactions. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes a lot of people say, oh, well, you're in the media or you're a therapist. You should have all of these taken care of. We're human like <laughs> everyone else. Right. And she remembered a time where uh, she was in a line at Starbucks in just rush hour taking like half hour to get her tea. And she was raging because she said they should have a second line just for tea because it go faster. This whole spiel. Mm -hmm. And she came home just bursting at the gills to let her husband know of the situation. And the first thing he said, when was the last time you ate something today? <laughs> this morning? When was the last time you Is drank something that wasn't caffeine? <laughs> <laughs> so it's that element of and with streamers is recognizing that you can push but there's a point of diminishing return right well, absolutely yeah, my, my, I've, I've got an eight-year-old son he's, he's a very cute kid some I do you know we all rub our temples when we're stressed kind yep. of rub your temples yep and it's coincidental it has nothing to do with it but what sits there is your dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex which is largely like our executive functioning center and, uh, you know, I'll sort of joke sometimes with my son, you know, say, uh, you know, Daddy, what are you doing? Like, I'm stressed, kind of rubbing my temples. You know, Daddy, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm trying to activate my DLPFC. You know, like some type of thing. And, you know, it's kind of joke. And then he laughs. It's so funny. The other day, he's, he's, he, you know, he's rubbing his temple, modeling like kids do. And, uh, you know, I was like, hey, buddy, what are you doing? He's like, I'm trying to activate my DLPFC. <laughs> but he's like, oh, you know, Dad, just trying to activate that. But the word that you just said that I can't pronounce yet. Yeah, that one. Uh, okay, so, so I, I, I want to get back to the uh, 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 point about uh, 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 pushing yourself to achieve because I think a lot of creators get into the industry because they see somebody that they like that ins that inspires them that they want to be you know or they they, they, they they see people that they're like I can do that you know I I like that person they're fantastic they've inspired me and so they 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 step into it thinking that they want to be like that person when in reality success in content creation is more of being this person it's being you it's 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 figuring out what you, how to make what what not only resonates with others but with yourself because it, it because the best content the best products the best services the best people are very much in touch with what makes them happy and so so i guess as 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 therapists who have seen streamers along the continuum of starting out, you know, building up, sort of sort of cresting, maybe hitting part at some point, it, seeing people burn out, seeing people just say "screw this, I'm done," is it, it it where is that line where they finally figure it out? It's like you know, I need to do me. I need to be be me. I don't need to be. Uh, shroud i don't need to be doc i need to be me and that is in 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 figuring that out for myself is is the uh 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 uh, uh, uh success you know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. yeah. I, yeah i think it's gonna be different for everyone yes because a lot of people will want to imitate what they see, right? But not recognizing that the person that they're seeing, that they're modeling their behavior after, has been doing it for five, ten years, right. and has gone through their own evolution to find out who they are, right. and have grown this uh, this following. And I've talked to and learned about many streamers where they do get very much discouraged that they've been trying for a month and they have two <laughs> followers. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, the, the, there's a way to look at it. I mean, we, as creatures, we, we grow by primarily osmosis, not metamorphosis, right? We, right. we stay consistent in many ways. We are who we are and we take things in, we social, social learning and modeling mm -hmm. and we take things in, but, but we still need to be, to be us. So if we're trying to be like, oh, I want to just be something different. Well, it's not going to work. I mean, I tell a lot of my, my clients, it's like, look, there is a U-shaped hole in this universe that only you can <laughs> fill. And literally, if, if you went away at a physical level, everything would collapse. Y your matter will never, you literally matter, right? You, you take up this very, very 
specific space of you. Mm -hmm. And all the research shows, Gallup polls, everything shows that the people who succeed find a way to capitalize on their strengths, uh, not try to bring their weaknesses up to be a strength. They're like, how do I be the best version of me? Weaknesses included. And I think yeah. with, you know, that's something to really keep in mind with whatever you do, you have to say, how can I do this in a way that, you know, is th that this vehicle that I am in can best perform, right? The, the, the yeah. most optimal way. And, and I think, unfortunately, or for better or worse, to answer your question of when people realize that, sometimes it, it literally has to, to enter the realm of survival mode. It, it's mm -hmm. like, um, you know, sort of like, you know, the, the reason we faint is because blood is leaving our brain and our body says you have to lay down so blood can get back into the brain or we're going to have a problem, right? right. The, the body's like shut down. And there is something, you know, with human psychology as well, with the mind, it's like eventually you get to the point where your brain just says, stop. You, you, you're, this is jeopardizing our survival and mm -hmm. a survival response kicks in. But I think our goal is you don't have to wait for that. <laughs> like, let's not, right. let's not wait for the point where your brain is like, we're on fire. Yeah. <laughs> you know? right. let, let Do something happen. before we burn. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. 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 Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, we're yeah, on yeah, fire. Yeah, let's yeah, just look yeah, at yeah, it. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This right. Is fine. I have, I have a lot of Aspies who really, really love computers. And so I am at, I say, imagine you specky in your head, you know, so you can see the temperature doing bios. You can temperature of all of your processing units. And if you're, if you're over 75, shut it down. Like, you know, we either need to find a cooling, a new cooling system. I mean, obviously with Aspies, we get really into the, into right. the metaphor. <laughs> right. But I think being aware of that before the whole thing is, you know, burning through all your thermal pace. <laughs> thermal pace. That's a good one. Like that. <laughs> all right. So we have the bot, we have the processing group. So I guess that, mm -hmm. I guess that brings us to you, uh, 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 Dr. Bean. And before you get to that, Dr. Bean, when I called you Dr. Bean the first time, my first, my first re mental reaction was, he isn't, uh, he isn't, 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 uh, uh, he isn't Dr. Bean from the TV show. He's a, he's a Dr. Bean who's an actual doctor. He's not here to be, he's not here to do, do physical comedy. And this, he's here to, you know, talk about realistic mental health issues. So I'm sorry for that that picture in my brain um anyway go ahead <laughs> it, it, no no that's actually okay because uh honestly my clients are like you're not like dr bean and i was like what other dr beans do you know like, and they're like well the guy on the guy from tv they're like what what about that guy who gets a turkey stuck in his head and i was like well i haven't done that but when i was six i did get a pumpkin stuck on my head Ooh, um that's interesting because story. my brother put it on my yeah that's a story we we don't have time for um <laughs> but <laughs> that'll be another pax thing um but the the, I, the, I, the PAX thing. um but the the big thing of what we really wanted to do is, is like i said we we wanted to full full circle so uh, talking about the idea behind streamer research, which is mm -hmm. where Dr. Um, Dr. Emery Daniel and his uh, individuals, Dr. Step Orm and Ariane Frashan, uh, mm -hmm. went and talked a lot about what makes their their research so important mm -hmm. to to go forward with understanding the the difficulties that streamers are kind of coming in with. So having them understand, talk about parasocial relationships, the ability to other streamers have handled a lot of their difficulties, and not just resorting immediately to banning understanding these these are difficult moments that people are having mm -hmm. the burnout the fatigue it's not just on the streamers part also it's mm -hmm. about the people coming to you they have reached that burnout fatigue they have reached those types of things which means that unfortunately if they're coming to you there has to be a point where you kind of have to uh, learn to recognize what are these symptoms that are kind of coming up they could start in streaming when people are like typing in and, and responding in there there are going to be keywords there's going to be certain things that are going to pop on up over and over again those are overt symptoms that are coming right. out at that point and it's how do we handle that how do we do that without just immediately going i can't handle this ban Right. I can't do this, kick them, that type of thing, which is one of the big things I think that uh, GLU is is mm -hmm. really, really passionate about. And I'm 100% behind them is if we can understand why they're coming here, why they're 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 doing these types of things, then we can know how to, to handle the situation in a, in a different, uh, different ability. 
being able to, whether it's they're burnt out, whether they need certain help mm -hmm. things, maybe it's a different type of disorder. Obviously we've been talking a lot about anxiety and depression, mm -hmm. but I, I know another one of uh, Dr. Kelly's uh, mm -hmm. um, strength is, is working with the Asperger's population and how do we recognize that? How yeah. do we deal with that type of stuff? Because a lot of people, and you've said this before, Dr. Kelly, is that oh, yeah. a lot of people, even clinicians have been like, oh, what do we do with this type of stuff? When right. most of us are like, cool that's that's them that's, just that's dive right are. in yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. that's that's who they are let's right. just put yeah, down I mean, an appropriate boundary right right exactly i mean yeah everybody's a, you know an advocate for till someone with aspirins and then they're no longer an advocate they're, you know and it's you know the, these aspies get excluded left and right from discords right and they truly don't know um and that you know that that's that is a form of discrimination um you know as would be kicking someone with adhd for impulse control or volume or kicking someone with anxiety for right. not talking for a period of time. So it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's, yeah, I mean, so it's very, very important for sure. It's one of the things that we're trying to do with, uh, with Guardians MH because we have the peer support network that we've built where we try to be as inclusive as we can. We do have our, our rules to make sure that we're mm -hmm. maintaining the health of, of the server, but it's having people that are there that they can talk, have the ability to share with people that it's moderated by a group of moderators and mental health professionals to be able to ask questions when they do need it. So I, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I was going to say, it, it's, 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 it's really interesting. I've learned through my experiences that, that, that people don't react to you. They react to their perception of you and, <laughs> and a, a, for me, streaming, I might, might think I'm just some regular random dude. Hey, we're playing some Destiny. I got, you know, three of my friends on a fire team. We're going to go goof off, and I might have five or six people in chat. And somebody might have might have a different perception of me based upon my speech, based upon what I've done in the past. And they might drop into chat and say something that, like, is way out of out of bounds for me. But for them, it makes total sense because they have the perception of me based upon what I have done and said. And I, I, I think it's a real, it, it's, it's really hard for humans to kind of step back from themselves and go, oh, that person's saying that because they might think a certain way about me. And so being able to not react emotionally in the moment and go, get that idiot out of my chat versus whoa, 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 what, what, hold on a second. Where did that come from? And kind of, kind of giving people the resources to see that, okay, I might ban somebody who's been in my chat six times that says that, but somebody that, sure. that somebody that's like a newer person in my chat, or maybe, I mean, heck, I have bad days. <clears throat> what if somebody that I hang out with is just having a really crappy day and goes off and I'm like, you know what, why don't you take 10 and just go away for a minute, you know? And so I, I think that this, I, I think these resources are, kind of give people the, the skills to kind of step back from, right. from the way people look at them. Because I know, you know, I, uh, like I said, I spent 20 years as an, an uh, uh, umpire. I learned very early. People get mad at my shirt. They're not mad at me. They're mad at my shirt. <laughs> that's it. That's all. That's all it is. I have, Your shirt has a stripe. I, yeah, it's like blue, and they're mad at my shirt because I've I, I've done heated games, walked off the field, changed my clothes, gone back to the same field, and sat in the in the stands, and nobody knows who I am. They're not mad at me. They're mad at my shirt, and so I think that people say things in chat because you're a streamer. You're not a person, you're a streamer, because if they saw you on the street, they would not even know who the heck you were. You know what I'm saying about that? Mm -hmm. You're being that springboard or scapegoat. Yes, for that. exactly. And I feel this is where the, the program really comes in, where you're able to, or we hope, that the streamer can recognize that right. what the person is saying is not necessarily targeted at them. It's based on what they're going through in their own lives. Yeah. And be able to respond and listen with empathy and share the resource that they may need at that time right right and and and, and, and i you know being able to say hey it sounds like there's something going on here and being having the having i guess having the 
having the understanding, the self-awareness to go, okay, this is probably not about me because I haven't done or said anything up to this point that would get this person to react a certain way. So you, you kind of stop and go, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on, man? Is there a problem? You okay? It sounds like you're having a tough time today. And being that well, call, sort of like a- Then, then there's a, that also other, other part of that too there, Bill, where it's like, how do you handle that situation without right. jumping into that therapy aspect, which we've seen right. some streamers kind of jump into it, mm -hmm. like start doing some therapy stuff. And we're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't want to go down that stuff, that, right. that road at all, because right. one, you're live too. You haven't signed consent too three, you're, you're not in, involved in that type of therapeutic relationship. Right. And I think that's where, where we strive. I think we had a, a little bit of a tougher time to trying to think about like, well, what can we impart that's not on okay. that, that therapeutic realm? And we, the way we came up with, uh, with, I, I like Dr. Ryan Kelly's uh, videos, even Dr. Goku's um, mm -hmm. videos, a, a video as well, talking about it and setting clear boundaries. But then we also have the mindfulness, 30 minute mindfulness um, uh, motivational interviewing techniques that you can utilize that doesn't bring you into that therapeutic realm. Okay. It, it just gives you the, the basis to, to kind of be that peer that you need. Okay. So it, it's, it's, it's more of not it, it, what it sounds like is f instead of, instead of standing face to face with someone from an emotional standpoint, you're more of standing side by side with them. Is that what you're saying? Good way to say it. Sure. And it's a really good way to say it, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. It's actually interesting you say that, a, a type of uh, motivation called coming alongside. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty much. Well, see, I, I found, you know, I found success in, you know, like if people are frustrated and anxious is that I start talking about, yeah, you know, I, I've dealt with a lot of anxiety myself in life. It's, it, you know, it's blatantly obvious that I have a speech impediment. Okay, you know, let's just get beyond that part. But I mean, you know, I totally get when you talk about anxiety, you know, I talk about, you know, being in sports and being in front of, you know, a thousand screaming fans who all hate your guts in the moment. You know, how do you move beyond that to the next call? How do you move, you know, how, how, how do you deal with the fact that, you know, one of your kids just did something really dumb and has a, you know, they <laughs> their arm and sort of standing alongside like, hey, look, you know, I get it, man. I do. Here's some of the times I've had this problem. And so it's more of like a standing alongside going, don't worry, we're going to be cool. Relax. It'll be fine. Is, uh, 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 is that sort of the uh, 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 thought process? It kind of a little bit with also giving some some different uh, types of uh, words and, and, and phrases that you can utilize. And if that okay. person it kind of then helps identify is this person just needing someone to talk to like in a peer support. Right type role right now and if so then let's get them that peer support if they need something more let's get them that that, that next thing it kind of helps identify that well it, it's also you know from like a system standpoint that we take it's knowing hey when is self-disclosure helpful like when would that be helpful or actually right. potentially harmful because then they think oh now i have the they open the door for me to talk about all these other things because we just developed a a new level of intimacy that, right. that I'm now going to, you know, social penetration. I'm deeper in this yeah. and now let me do this. So it, you know, cause it's no longer a parasocial relationship. Now mm, right. it becomes a more of a, a right. direct one. Right. So, yeah. so exactly right. Thank you. Dr. Gogo. And so a lot of the times, quite frankly, teaching streamers how to delegate to their moderators or to train their own moderators of when to whisper, uh, when they do whisper to someone like, Hey, you doing okay or something, right. knowing where to draw the line, right. provide suicide intervention hotline, but not like, let's just chalk. What's going on? Oh, your girlfriend broke up with you. Like maybe not going real deep into it. Right. And when it, and then it also has to do with the size of your community, right? If you've got right. a large community and you got someone maybe saying some, some pretty rough stuff where you, you sort of worry about their, maybe their, their, you know, are they at risk to themselves at that moment? Mm -hmm. Obviously, it would be inappropriate for all parties and not helpful right. to be like, hey, what's going on? You know, uh, Pickle Master, as someone I recently remember. <laughs> right. I don't know. You know, what, what's going on? Why, you know, hey, tell us what you're feeling. Like, it would be very caring, well yeah. intended, but it's going to actually do problems for everybody versus having a mod take over. And then maybe a few minutes later, having the streamer making a general comment. You know, guys, life gets tough out there, 2020, COVID gets us all down. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone remembers self-care, you know, be there for each other. Yeah. If you're having a tough time, go mm -hmm. talk to somebody. But, you know, it's like a lot of the times with what we're training, it's like very rarely are you going to actually like directly, mm -hmm. you know, as a streamer, maybe yeah. your mod yeah. into some capacity. But, right. yeah. and, and be able to do that and without wanting to, to bring it back to the bot uh, over again, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. being able to say that 
and then just typing a small command in chat and having those resources pop up yeah, for people that are listening exactly. to that message. I mean, I mean for my God, for the, mo for the mods in particular. Because right. uh, honestly, a lot falls to the mods yes. when mm -hmm. it comes down to all this stuff. They're, they're the, the gate gatekeepers, the boundary makers, right. and, but they're, you know, they, they're collaborating with their streamers. So having that bot, it's like you just save them a ton of training. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. like exclamation point depression. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bang. And, <laughs> bye. And, and, and done. You know. And I don't know if we've made it uh, for Twitch yet. I I think they're they're trying to figure it out. But for uh, for Discord, you can have an extra command where the bot will DM you, so you can interact oh. with the bot okay. through DMs okay. rather than inside the server. Right. Okay. Cool. Got it. So I, I, I that privacy. Yeah. So okay. Right. So, so I think it, I think at this point it's also important to note we're all guys and there's there's a there's there's a there's a unique experience that when it comes 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 to comes to female streamers interacting with their chat handling these sorts of things there's a, there's there's a unique experience when it comes to the LGBT. A uh, 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 Q community and those resources all, all exist, right? Yeah, they they do exist. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a variety of um, of websites and organizations that uh, that help a lot of those or mm -hmm. uh, those people. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I, I I I just wanted to wanted to wanted to kind of. Make sure we highlighted that because a lot of the conversation has has, has 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 been focused around guys. I want to make sure that we get that whole picture. It's like this, you know, this is for everybody, whether you're whether you're a mod in a stream of six people or you're 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 a streamer who gets you know between has easily has a hundred to two hundred viewers at at any given time. These these resources exist for this. This for everybody. So if so, as far as the program itself, I make sure I want to have this website correct. It is, it is geektherapytraining.com, right? Yes. So that's where where it is right now. It's going to switch soon to geektherapeutics.com. But for okay. this specific course, okay. the easiest way we actually bought a, bought a whole domain just for this, and we're going to just keep it and let it go. Um, and, and keep it going. It, it's it's called uh, streamermentalhealth.com. Stream. That's literally all you got to do. Okay. And boom, it oh. will it will pull up the the entire um, the entire course right there for you. Okay, so streamer mental is available. Yeah, streamer mental uh, health. Yeah, it, like streamer mental health dot com. Okay. Oh, we have the dot net dot org. Like literally, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get a domain name. I'm gonna have to like spend an hour on this, <laughs> right, and right. I typed in streamermentalhealth.com and it came up and it was available i was like all right well we're doing some good here right another <laughs> reminder that this is so needed right right exactly so now and as i stated at the beginning this is 35 dollars per year not per month it's per year and so i, I so i so i mean 35 dollars you could I mean, you, 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 uh, uh, you could say this is like four or five of your favorite lattes, I guess, if you want to put it in those terms. Um, for yeah, a if you're doing Canadian prices, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so okay, so so uh, so uh, uh, important question, Doctor Goku, for uh, is that uh 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 Tim, uh 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 Hortons or is it or is it Starbucks? Starbucks. Okay, okay, okay. I, I Everything's more expensive up here. I just want to verify. Is that Tim Horton right there? Okay, but but I I think it's really important that 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 people people realize that that you know not only is 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 this valuable, but you it, being able to say that you're that that you're supporting this moving forward because this stuff doesn't happen for free. I, I it's really important while. A lot of what you do is 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 outreach and 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 helping people and being compassionate. It's important to note that this stuff doesn't happen in a vacuum. It it is that it in order for it to evolve, that the thirty five dollars per year is is a, a important, right? Yeah, I think I think it is. But I, I think one of the big things that we we also want to point out is we have no intention of ever raising that, but more adding on into into that because there, there's no here, here's the thing is that there to 
I, I, at least to me, and I would probably say for these other two as well, mm -hmm. there's, there's no, what, what's the point of raising it? Then, then it makes it un, not accessible to, right. to people. And if we want people to, to have these resources, then it has to be accessible. And I think that we, we all have plans to, to continue adding on to the course. Mm -hmm. So while it's three, four hours right now, right. by the, by mid next year, it could be, have a lot more resources and a lot more other stuff in there. Well, exactly. Yeah, that's right. I think it's, you know, it's always a balance. You got to practice preach if we spend all of our time doing stuff where we don't you know provide means for the people helping right then you know we're not valuing them they're not valuing themselves right. but we are trying to provide basically a light or like an lite version right like for instance right. glu um you know provide with the with the streamer support uh groups you know you can have a free group that you can you know be a part of that's you know sort of modded by mental health professionals, but a little bit from afar, and they're not voice channel and they're not direct. But you know, yeah, part of the thirty-five dollar, it's sort of like you know, we're we're having one to two clinicians taking their time, mm -hmm. not seeing a client, not doing this right. to to you know moderate this group. And you know, quite frankly, at that at that price, it's hardly anything. But I mean, but it but it's something <laughs> like you know, but but it is something where it's like, look, we got these people helping out. We got to right. got to be able to value them somewhat. So and. I, Dr. Goku, as far as on your end with the bot, mm -hmm. do you have like a light version? Uh, we don't really have a light version. Uh, like I said, yeah. we're trying to build it accessible. It's free for everyone. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah. It, anyone can add it to their Twitch, mm -hmm. to their Discord, uh, and has the web app. And the web app makes it super easy to add it to your Twitch. Got it. So now that the, the website's <clears throat> live... You log in there, you enter your Twitch credentials, okay. and you click Add Bot, and it, that's it. <laughs> nice. Okay. And I think that's important. I think, I mean, if, if, if I mean, we've been here now for an, almost an hour and 10 minutes. Ten minutes. If, if you just get one resource out of this, add the bot to your Twitch chat just so you just, I mean, it's, it's amazing how providing... It's, it, it's amazing the reaction that you get from just being able to point somebody in the right direction and know that they're being helped. It's, I, 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 I think that I, I think Twitch chat has evolved over time into, okay, you know, maybe these aren't my full-time therapists, but there's still people that I go to because I trust them and being able to, <laughs> being able to go to a trusted person and go, Hey, I just need something. Do you know anything? And go, like, yeah, bang, here you go. And just being like, thank you very much. And that, that, that <clears throat> for a, for a streamer, someone who has a community of any size, any size, being able to go, I helped this person today is a huge deal. Mm -hmm. I, I I cannot stress that enough. That you know, I mm -hmm. I have a I have a very small community. I'm under 300 as a streamer. I also know that some of my best successes so far are being able to point somebody in the right direction, whether it's for mental health or for business or just they just have a question about something completely different. Being able to go, well, I don't know anything specifically, but you know, uh, uh, but, 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 but but I found success over on this side over here. Those are a, that's huge for people, and I, and it, I it, it, this goes right back to my belief: gaming brings hope. And you guys, mm -hmm. with what you've done and what you are building and what you're continually continuing to build with gaming, is bringing hope to more people. I I have personally experienced. The bot and the Red Jacks uh, 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 Discord. I've used it. I've used those chat channels in there before myself. This the it's 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 real. It's it works. It's useful. It helps a ton of people. So guys, you're awesome for making time for me. For well, of course. just some 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 random interviewer here out in the middle of nowhere. But thank you very very much. <laughs> for making time for me today as we shut this down is there is, if people want to connect with you how did they do that uh for me it's uh, probably the easiest way to do it would be twitter um and it's drr kelly k-e-l-l-y got it and probably the same thing for me it's on twitter so dr goku eh, on twitter got it 
Yeah, for, for me, again, Twitter at Video Game Doc, but you can also find pretty much anything we're doing on, on Facebook, and I would encourage you to follow us um, as well. Uh, Geeks Like Us is, is on Facebook, uh, Geek Therapeutics, and I'm still trying to push uh, Guardians Mental Health to get a Facebook page up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but if I really you search... need to push that on Joe. I think yeah, you, Matt you might do. be taking on that role. I'm still trying to get Tony to get a MySpace page, but he refuses to. <laughs> That's just because he hasn't found mine yet. Um, <laughs> oh. It's Red Rock. No, I'm kidding. Um. All right. So, so everybody, you will find the links to all the things we talked about in the description below. There's going to be a lot of links there. Uh, Geek Therapy, GeekTherapyTraining.com, stream, uh, StreamersMentalHealth.com, all these websites, all these awesome people. Gentlemen, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much, very, very much for making time for me tonight. I appreciate it, Tony. Happy to be here. No all problem. Right. Absolutely. Thanks for having us, Bill. All right, don't forget to like, yeah. share, subscribe, follow the YouTube channel. I've got more interviews coming up. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good day. Thank you for tuning in today. You can find links to everyone on the show in the description below. Check out Bill the Conqueror on Twitch and Twitter to stay up to date on his thoughts and ideas about gaming culture.